Kentucky for the Lafla of Grassroots Organizations that were doing outstanding work in their local communities but may have been missed by the larger funders. Due to this generosity, the Rex Foundation was able to make grants of over $8.3 million to about a thousand such programs across the U.S. and around the world. In the last seven years, the Rex Foundation has been able to renew its grant making in the absence of Grateful Dead funding due to the continued support of festival promoters, musicians, and fans like all of you. Because we know that you want to continue all the hard work the Grateful Dead started. We want you all to know that you can be a part of what we're doing here. If you can contribute $5, $50, $100. We've dubbed this idea the Rex Community Caravan because you know what? We are all traveling together. Together in this ever growing grassroots philanthropic community connected by our love of music and of community sport. We want to make a positive difference. all of the dots of what we're seeking to do. And we really, really want to thank everybody at Mountain Jam. Everybody at Mountain Jam for supporting us here tonight. So in the next set, Bob Weir and Rat Dog are going to play a special Rex Jam. You'll know it when you hear it. And when that starts, we're asking you to make a contribution, whatever works for you. If it's a dollar, if it's five dollars, whatever you feel you can give. Of course, anybody who can give twenty dollars or more, we do have these really great CDs. They're called Jerry Jams. These CDs were created, it's a 3D CD set. It was created, created in 2002. Uh, and it's a bunch of Jerry songs that have been performed by bands like Dark Star Orchestra, the Zen Tricksters, the Dave Grisman Quintet, Railroad Earth, a bunch of other bands. So if you contribute $20 or more, we have a limited number of them and our volunteers will have them and they will give one to you. What you need to know is that all the funds that we receive tonight are going to go to the family of Woodstock. This is an amazing organization that I have here tonight, Michael Berg. He is the executive director and he's going to tell you about Family of Woodstock. Good evening. It's wild. The view from up here is incredible. And it feels a little bit like we've come full circle. Let me tell you a little bit about Family of Woodstock. Thank you. We started as a result of the impact on the town of Woodstock of the 69 Rock Festival. When thousands of people came looking for Bob Dylan in the Woodstock Nation, a group of community people came together to provide an alternative to the police response. And that's how we started. A woman gave her phone number up and said, all if there's a problem. And that started what is now the the second oldest continuously operating emergency switchboard in the country. For 38 years then... So, yeah! So we also, we did the, the crisis intervention and the um, information at both the 94 and 99 Woodstock festivals. And in between we filled in a lot of the gaps regionally in what was available services. We become a, a lead agency in homelessness, in domestic violence services, child care, adolescent services, and emergency services. Thank you. I want to talk just a minute about homelessness. When you're homeless, it's hard on every member of the family. 
particularly the young children. They don't know what's going on. They've lost a lot of their things. They have no tools to, to communicate what's happening to them. Even for older adolescents, the subjects that they have to deal with are often hard. When times have been good, the agency used music and art to bring, to give people tools, to make it easier. Particularly with older adolescents, we found the lyrics to be a great way to talk about difficult subjects. Seems like the governments on every level are either broke or they've gone out of the helping business. So we're turning to the community and when the Rex Foundation asked what we would use money for, we said to bring music and art to homeless children. So that's what we're asking for. I like I'd like to thank the Rex Foundation, Bob Weir and the Rat, Rat Dog, and WDSD for supporting our community. Thanks for your support. Thank you so much, Michael. So, what you can do is look for the volunteers coming through the crowd later on in the set with the Rex Community Caravan donation containers. Reach into your pockets and your hearts. See what you feel you can share. This jam is going to demonstrate how your dollars can add up quickly to make a difference and how the Rex Foundation is acting as a vehicle to tie us all together with our love of the musical community and to, you know, bring about a really good end. The timing of this event is really important because this year marks the 25th anniversary of the Rex Foundation. So now we're going to show how we can continue this mission together and celebrate the power of music, service, and the arts. Thank you guys. Have a great night. Thank you so 